Hey, welcome back guys. Today we're looking at a German stock book. Now, I have, oh uh, boy, a couple of these. Now, I did a video on a very similar book when I first started this channel um, back in, I think, 2021 or something. Uh, so, somebody had made this already. I did not make this, and uh, it came in a large collection I had bought. So, anyways, let's take a look at it. I definitely like this one. It's pretty much mint. Uh, almost all of it. I think there's some CTOs, but um, it's in really good shape. You'll see here it says mint 1945. Um, so whoever had made this had a little list here. and This um, I don't think is entirely accurate anymore because there was some stamps that were worth some serious money, 589 whatever. You know, um, uh, they're gone. <laughs> Sadly, somebody skyped all the stamps that were of true value, but um, there's still some cool ones in here, so anyways, let's take a look at this single up here on the first page. Nice uh, overprint. That one's pretty cool. Berlin says it's worth uh, 475 probably the cat value. That's not a bad looking stamp there. And then this is actually probably the saddest page of them all. Um, all the good stuff was ripped out. 140, 375, 250, 300, 760, 750. Owie. They're gone. So, Oh well, that's life, huh? So, um, let's uh, start with this page, I suppose. This one, these aren't bad. Um, I don't think that these, no, these are semi-postals. Whoops, never mind. Um, well, let me zoom you in so that you can get a good look at them. Let's see what I got. They're pretty cool. Nice that they're in mounts. Um, it's definitely a good thing to see. I don't have many mint albums, let's say. And, I suppose I'll call this an album. It's kind of just a stock book, but uh, somebody somebody cared, you know, when they made this. Um, I've seen a whole lot worse than this, so. Anyways, I'm not going to take all of them out, but if I uh, just kind of breeze through, you can see them all. And so here's this page. I will say this one's definitely older. It's starting to yellow the glass scene, so. Um, yeah, I've thought about moving these stamps, but I kind of like it the way it is, so I really don't want to. Plus, most uh, most or a lot of them are in mounts already, so. Uh, yeah, some pretty cool looking German stamps. That's a semi-postal. We'll set a three here. Let's see what's going on. different uh, different guys <coughs> mm, that's a semi postal these ones he says have decent cat um, this Richard Strauss is eleven dollar cat this one says seven fifty. These say 835, not bad. So these aren't like true minimal cat value stamps. Um, and I do want to mention, um, I am building a page of Nazi stamps in my giant worldwide album. And so pretty much uh, anything I see in here that fits the bill of my Nazi stamps oopsie, will um, get pulled. And, uh, so, I'm on the lookout. <laughs> There's, if I see a swastika or something, I'm nabbing it. So these are cool. I mean, this is just very nice to look at. It's like, um, it's like most of the sets are complete, you know. Like, look at, uh, 
this. I'd have to check in the cat and see if any are missing, but these are all really nice. Um, this whole set with like a bunch of different buildings, I assume that that's probably complete. It looks pretty intact and complete. So. Um. Yeah. They're cool. I don't know how well you guys can see through the glass scene to see the whole design, but I'm kind of hoping you can. He says that this whole set of buildings is um, nine or twelve fifty. So that's a pretty common German stamp. I've seen a lot of these ones. Okay. So we'll start here now. Kind of similar buildings, but I guess different. Uh, the last, oh, they are the same building with different denominations. Some animals. Pretty cool looking. Looks like royalty, and then we have a, a row of animals. I'm not like some German stamp whiz. I actually have a fair bit of German stamps. And, uh, so, I kind of like Germany. It's not, uh, not the worst at all, um, to look at. They're, they're good looking stamps. I was trying to think of what's the worst stamps I've ever seen, and it's those. Oh boy, I'll put a picture. I can't think of it right now, but I know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll show you. Now, um, some more animals. Looks like some dolls. Yeah, nice looking stamps. They're all very good condition, you know. They're pretty immaculate. This is, this is why I kept it like this, is... I know that somebody did care. Somebody definitely cared. Uh, so that one has the selvage, the margin on there still. Well, number one. Without the selvage. Looks like a bunch of different soldiers. Looks like Jesus, if you ask me. That one. And we'll know our guy right here. Mr. JFK. Bunch of, a whole other row, bunch of buildings again. Seems really similar to that last set of buildings we were looking at. About the same size, too. I could check, uh, but I'm there could be some duplication here, but I think it's a different set. These look similar to... Okay, I'm going to check. <laughs> Let me see. The same or not. It is. Wow. So I have two sets of that. Wow. Unless it was a like a second release, you know, if they did a second issue of the same, sometimes um, you know countries will release uh, sets of stamps that just look almost identical to the last uh, to earlier sets, and there may be some small differences. I'm not sure. But even these look similar. Yeah, this might be duplication here. Yeah, dude, this has to be duplication. Come on now. I mean, we saw those earlier, so that's the same. I mean, these animals look... Sp I mean, this is all... <laughs> Darn, I didn't even notice this. I didn't think that there would be... See, so let's see, like a 20... What is that, a pheasant or something? Yep, it's the same. Okay, so duplication going on.
But anyways, um, still they always makes for a nice page, right? Cool looking falcons and eagles, perhaps. Here's a nice set of these guys. I like the color variations. That orange one sticks out to me. Continue on with more of the same gentleman. Interesting. He says that is a twenty dollar cat value. Must be. These are probably the last bit. Yeah, of the set on the other page here. Sounds a twenty dollar set. That's cool. Nice cat value. These are pretty stamps. Man, they're just they're in such good shape, you know. Ugh. I envy that. Um, that this guy bothered to do this mint, you know. It's just nice. I don't, uh, I've never really bothered to do anything like a mint album. And, um, it's really nice to look at. They're just... It just satisfies the, like the the OCD in you if you have any. It's like ah, look at every perf. It's nice. No, nothing's bent. It's all in good shape. It's nice. This is nice. Okay. So these definitely we haven't seen. These are cool. He's got a couple of each. <clears throat> Some buildings. That looks like uh, the Eiffel Tower. A horsey. That looks like a, what would have been a vertical pair. I like that a lot of them still have the salvage on it too. You know, that's cool. Here's the bottom of that page. It must be a chess piece. Although they almost like these look like vases. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. scenery that's pretty that's also pretty actually all of these are nice we got some ships vertical pairs here very nice I like it it's not good with the salvage so not sure what this is hmm Some art. That looks like ah, they're, that's cool. Appropriate, huh? Looks like a. Uh, they're printing press sheets. That's pretty cool. Excuse me, whoopsie, a little burp. So, some different stamps. Moving on. Hmm. It's a bunch of different stuff. Pretty cool. Ooh, bummer. Right here would have been a $500 stamp, says Hinged. <laughs> oh. Sad to see it's gone. Oh, well. So that 
All right, and some sous sheets. These are pretty cool, nice cars. See, this is where I was saying some CTOs. I also like, um, there's a design in the, in the actual uh, cancel. That's actually a guy on a motorcycle uh, with one of those side carts on it. Oh, the guy's hanging off of the side cart. That's cool. I like that. 1971. Let's see. And then, yeah, so, like this cancel also has uh, you know, some design on it. It's got an elephant. It's a nice cancel. Oh, these are in just perfect condition. Where was that right there? probably in there. Oh, these are all the same sheet. Okay, so these ones are just uncancelled. And then we've got this guy. Hmm. What is that? The cancel? That looks like a set of headphones. That's a set of headphones on there. And that would make sense, I suppose. This all looks to be a... Hmm. Like, that's a tube amp, I think. TV, video camera, must be some kind of electronics souvenir sheet there. Okay, a couple more sous sheets. This one's nice. <coughs> Beethoven. And this one's blocked. Oh, a little baby. Mm-hmm. Some sous sheets, more sous sheets. I actually like this one. Unfortunately, there's a little smudgy poo on an eagle there, but it's all right. It's got a couple of these, it looks like, and they're safely in their glassine covers. Let's pull one out. these guys. I'll show you one of these too. Yeah, I haven't gone through and valued any of these myself or cataloged any of them. They, the former, <coughs> excuse me, the former owner pretty much took care of all that himself. Oh, there's a little postal horn there. The envelope. It's cool. I like that. It wasn't kidding. Everything is mint. Everything is nice and mint. Okay. More sous sheets. Gosh darn. Quite a few. So these are horizontal. Looks like a couple of each here. And uh, nothing crazy as far as cat value. But they are looking in great condition. Yeah, I see, so cancelled, uncancelled, cancelled, uncancelled. It's pretty cool. Well done. More sous sheets on this page as well. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I find uh, looking at these albums to be semi-relaxing. Um, 
the crinkle of the pages and um, it's almost like ASMR sometimes to me <laughs> so anyways um, it's like a 72 soup sheet and cancelled Olympic soup sheets here Not that, oh these are all Olympic and they're semi-postals I'm not sure that this, oh this is a semi-postal so this is a whole page of, uh, whoopsie sorry semi-postal sheets here oh they're all Olympic, this one's Olympic too <laughs> Alright, so there, a complete page of s Olympic semi postal sheets. One's Montreal 76. Nice. Okay, so we got a couple of blank pages here. These ones are also sad because uh, this one he had $1,200. Whatever was there, $1,200. Bummer. Uh, this, this is probably why these pages have been. Uh, Stripped sixty dollars would have been over here. And then, yeah, somebody took the valuables out. Bummer. Okay. Ooh. So finally, I was wondering if I was going to find anything in here. Look at that beauty. That's going in my album. I'm going to have to type that. So I'll be responsible for at least taking one uh, one sheet out of here to add to somebody else's disappointment this twenty four dollar sheet will be gone <laughs> but uh... yeah anything with the swastika um, or hitler head or any of that kind of stuff i'm trying to comp i'm trying to amass enough to fill a page or two in my album there my big album so uh, unfortunately it's just the tiniest there's like a single perf that's rolled over there so it's almost perfect but not quite a little bit yellowed I hope it's not stuck or anything. No. Folds odds. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's been previously folded. So this thing isn't in perfect shape. A little bit of dots on the back, a little dust and some of the gum missing. So just to scrutinize it, but I'm gonna actually uh, steal that. That's mine. Bye bye. Okay. Let me write down the. Uh, info real quick and then I'll continue on. Alrighty, got that guy safely stored. So, there's more sous sheets. Lots of sous sheets in this. I didn't realize that. Um, I feel like we've already seen this before. We could have we definitely saw this. Oh, let me get this out of here definitely saw uh, this one before but this one although it doesn't have a smudge it seems to have small little paper ripples <laughs> so it kind of just the faintest indent so you can we might be able to make that out so not perfect but there's another one of that this is nice this one actually looks in great condition Moving on, another page of sous sheets next. Seems to be three of the same thing, and they seem to be all mint. Uh, nope, nope, they're not all the same. I see, we have ourselves different cancels here. So I figured I'll show you why not. Okay, little oh, flower cancel. And then this one has yeah, different cancels. Pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, these uh, these rows here are pretty tight. Don't lift up very well.
And then this last one is just uncancelled. So the next page was stripped as well. And uh, I guess it would have been some family stamps, it looks like. You know, it would have been a section from Von Tant Martina and Albert Bickerman. They had some that would have been from Uncle Richard and Bruder Otto Kramer. Otto Kramer. So, whatever those were, they're gone. <coughs> this next page, just a few uh, random stragglers up here hanging out. Gandhi stamp. Not sure what this one is. It's just a scenic view. Huh. So down here is a sushi. It must. This one might be from that Otto Kramer. Uh, from the last page. Okay, it's not stuck. Okay, it's actually a piece of paper. It's got ink stamped Otto Kramer, something Frankfurt. It has Otto Kramer written on it with pen, and I can only imagine it's almost as if he signed these stamps. I wonder who Otto Kramer was. Hmm, huh, maybe I'll Google it. So a little horizontal pair there. There's writing on the back here. Uh, okay, yeah, I definitely can't read it. It almost looks like it says Professor Dr. Otto. Maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's German. So I don't really have the answers for that. But that seems slightly special, maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting little sheet there. Okay. More Sioux sheets. <clears throat> so these are semi postals. Oh, that one has a rip, a little tear there. Bummer. Um, they look uh, uncancelled, so just look uh, two pairs there of uh, sheets. I swear we already saw this, so this one's unused. Deutsche Mark, I guess, DM. I keep seeing DM. I can only. <coughs> Excuse me, I can only imagine it's uh, Deutsche Mark. Sorry, guys, my throat's like dry. I just woke up and I should have a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> okay, I have my AC running all night. <laughs> so it's kind of dry air in here. So. Yeah, there's a flower stamp again. So another uh, same sous sheet. This one canceled or not. And I know we saw that cancel earlier. I feel like we already actually saw these sheets as well. Um, so there's that. Okay, definitely didn't see this one yet. This is a nice sous sheet. Um, canceled 79. It says it's B564, so it should be, yes, a semi-postal stamp. It says it's $11, cat. That's actually a pretty nice sheet. I like the gold emblem here, whatever this is. This is nice. It's definitely 79, it says so. I like that sheet. It's a good-looking sheet. Okay, so we've actually made it back to some stamps. This is a good looking page as well. Start on this one. Uh, at the top here. <coughs> Olympic stamps. This one is some kind of overprint or some type printed on it. About 1954 Berlin. On the bell. 
Um, now, I am not the German stamp master, but I have actually identified quite a bit of German stamps uh, because of my grandpa's stuff. And um, if I'm not mistaken, these bells, it's either this bell design stamp or one that's quite similar, actually have like okay catalog value. Um, like a few bucks or something. Well, Eiffel Tower, the building, we already saw that. These might be extras. It's a possibility. I haven't seen any more Nazi stamps yet. We're near the end, too, so that's kind of sad. I, I don't have a lot of faith I'm going to find much more. But I was very glad to find that, um, that sheet that I got. That was great. I've been actually buying some Nazi stamps, which that I've been telling myself I'm not going to buy anything, and I keep on. I've been I've been pretty good, but uh, I keep coming up with ideas. Unfortunately, as most of you know, it kind of takes money to make albums. You got to buy the stamps; <laughs> they don't fall off the trees. So, oh, I like these designs. These women. That's cool. Is that a nipple? That might be a guy. <laughs> I do also have a nude art stamp collection. I don't know, it kind of looks like a girl to me. Um, and uh, So when I find nude art stamps, I steal them and put them in there. I actually had made a pretty nice video about it. But I got in trouble. Thanks, YouTube. I, I've been thinking of, I might make another video of my nude art stamp collection, my album. It's a, it's a fat album. Oh my gosh, I don't know how many, uh, I feel like I've spent thousands of dollars on it. I could be wrong, but, um, easily over a grand, like for sure. And, uh, um, it's definitely a weird album. <laughs> And so anyways, I, I was thinking of doing a video on it and like putting it on um, my Google Drive or something and just putting a link for people that, uh, only people that have the link can view it and da da da. So, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys <laughs> want to see my nude art stamp collection. <laughs> it's pretty big and uh, I actually put a ridiculous amount of work into it, but um, yeah, I might do that again. Uh, just because I missed the video. It was one of my more popular videos when I started this channel. So these are a nice set here. Sorry to ramble. Um, I actually really like these. These look really nice. 950 cat. Numbers 9N176 through 190. Bunch of different guys. Kind of almost reminds me of the famous American set. They're smaller stamps, but that's cool. Ah, so this is the last page here, and this is it. Um, okay, well that's a nice set right there. I like that. We've seen that with, I think, a different denomination earlier. Same building stamps. So oh, nothing super special there, but... Man, they're all mint. Ugh, I love that. It's just, and it almost inspires me to um, make a mint collection here but I uh, one, one album at a time I just did four at a time with my US mystic albums and I that's such a pain in the butt doing four simultaneously I think I just want to do one at a time make life easy Oy. so that was it nice little album um, I quite like this and uh, yeah I'm really glad that I found some uh, Nazi stamps how cool put that in my album coming up here. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the stroll through this little mint German album. That was pretty nice. Uh, I liked it. So this is one where um, I don't know what to do with it. I can't bring myself to decide. Am I going to sell it? Am I going to take the stamps out, which I kind of want to do because the glass scene's kind of getting older and yellowed. It's not horrible, but it's definitely getting a uh, yellow so 
just to protect the stamps it's kind of like they have to leave the book but I don't want to take them out because I kind of like how they are in there so whatever at this point I'm still just going to leave it as is and keep a hold of it and uh, maybe one day I'll decide what to do with it but you can, don't have the heart to get rid of it that's for sure I like it too much uh, so anyways thanks for watching take care guys I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday as always I really appreciate it feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and I'll be back next week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.